Good afternoon. My name is Nick Nissen. Um, is this the one we're going to do? We have several presentations today. You put up the distal pancreatectomy one. Is that, should I do that one? We can do them in any order. We, 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 uh, Krishna Maharendraj is our fellow from last year. I work at Cedar Sinai Medical Center, and okay, we. So, so this is the this is the single center. Okay. So, so just for the for the back, do we have the robotic uh, biomedical repair early intervention and outcome? Uh, we can just we just do this one. Yeah, we can do this one. All right. Nothing to disclose. Um, Again, the, the, um, the evolution of technique in surgical distal pancreatectomy, of course, involves uh, laparoscopy and robotic techniques. And we look back at our, at my personal 10-year experience at Cedar sinai on distal pancreatectomy, minimally invasive distal pancreatectomy, just to look back to see what the trends are and our outcomes. This slide is a little bit wordy, but, um, but um, you can look at the 10-year time frame. We label these as totally laparoscopic, laparoscopic assisted, and, and robotic. And of course, laparoscopic assisted, the way I do that is typically uh, a small hand port incision in the mid-abdomen, and then the, laparoscop the laparoscopic portion is the tail of pancreas mobilization and splenectomy. And I've advocated this for a long time because it allows you access to the central vessels. It allows you good manual control of tumors. It allows you to make sure you have a good posterior clearance if you had an adenocarcinoma. And, and that, that laparoscopic assisted, or if you want to call it hand assisted, you can call it that approach has been something we've advocated for a long time. Over that 10 year time frame, we've done 159 distal pancreatectomies, 30 of these totally laparoscopic, 85 laparoscopic assisted, and 45 robotic distal pancreatectomy. Interestingly, we really found no difference in, uh, well, we've, we had no difference in uh, uh, type of uh, uh, um, BMI in age, um, no difference in length of hospital stay, fistula rate, mortality, morbidity, and, um, and the, the one uh, issue, the one's uh, bullet point here, item five, pancreatic adenocarcinoma did have a longer uh, length of stay than the other, um, than the other diagnoses. This just shows the evolution of time over the, of our um, modalities. And again, the print is a little bit small. Lap assisted is blue, totally laparoscopic is orange, and robotic is gray. And like most programs, we're moving towards robotic approach. Um, fewer and fewer um, laparoscopic assisted approaches. It's interesting, robotics really has, at least in our experience, really has replaced the need for a hand-assisted technique because of the, the instrumentation and the ability to obtain wide clearance margins. This is a slide simply showing the evolution of our own robotic practice. And this is, this is all kinds of, of procedures. And again, it's a busy slide, but it shows you that over this last several years, we've added pancreatic odronectomies, distal pancreatectomies, bile duct resections. And I put this slide in simply to show that, that, that as your robotic experience grows and as your comfort with different approaches of robotics grows, it's natural that it's gonna replace our approach to distal pancreatectomy, and in fact, that's what's happening in our program as well. Our actual number of robotic distal pancreatectomies is shown here by quarter, and so you can see there's a little bit of a blip in the mid, but over time, really our entire practice has now moved towards a robotic distal pancreatectomy. What we're finding is that, that um, proximity of the tumor to the central vessels is no longer a need for a lap-assisted approach. It now can be handled very nicely with a totally robotic approach. Proximity of the tumor to the splenic artery takeoff to the celiac artery is no longer a contraindication to robotic or minimally invasive. All of that can be handled very nicely with the robotic approach. And again, the, the visualization, the instrumentation of robotics, I think will really push this field completely towards a robotic approach. So that's the summary of our, of our 10 year experience with, which again, I think as in many programs is moving completely towards robotic and away from hand assisted or laparoscopic assisted and fewer and fewer totally laparoscopic. Thank you. Thank you.